I just got back from San Diego where I attended a really great educational conference. One of the sessions I went to was a panel discussion. One of the panelists was the rapper, actor, and philanthropist Common. Okay, And so he was talking about his experience as a young man growing up in school, and he said he had a really great math teacher, somebody that pushed everybody in the class, really wanted them to learn mathematics, took an interest in them, taught them things that they would need to know outside of the classroom, but said it was just a great class. And when he came out of that class, he thought to himself, you know what, I'm smart. So he came out of that educational experience as a young man with the knowledge that he was smart. And that was enough to kind of carry him through that first part of his life there towards the career that he has now. And as he's talking, I'm thinking to myself, I wonder how many people come out of our math classes thinking that they're not smart. Now this has bothered me for some time and what I do in the classroom to sort of prevent this from happening is when I'm giving back a test, before I give it back, I'll say to the class, look, I know some of you are going to be disappointed with your scores on this. I want you to realize that you and your tests are two different things. Your future is just as bright as it ever was, regardless of what your score is on this test. And if you got a score that's lower than you wanted to have on this test, it's not a matter of whether you're smart enough or not. You're already smart enough to pass this algebra class. If you didn't get the grade you want, it simply means that you have to work a little harder. Now, Common didn't say this, but I think he also, when he came out of this class with this math teacher, he realized that he was a hard worker and that hard work paid off. He said the teacher really pushed them. The teacher made them work hard and they learned a lot of mathematics. So when that happens, you get that intuitive feeling that hard work pays off and that you can do it. You're a hard worker and it's going to pay off. So I was thinking to myself, what about if for a goal for us as math teachers, we had these things in mind. We wanted all of our students, regardless of the grade they want, to leave the class knowing that they were smart. Second, knowing that they were hard workers or could be hard workers. And third, what about if they knew that they were good at critical thinking? I'll get that, just a minute. Uh, the phone rings sometimes at just the wrong time. Anyways. So what about if our students came out thinking to themselves, you know what, I'm good at critical thinking. No matter what the situation is, I can sort through things and get pretty close to the truth. So these would be some pretty good goals for us, I think. Leave, let our students leave the class thinking, I'm smart. I'm a hard worker and I'm good at critical thinking. So you know what, I think I'm going to put these into practice and make these goals for myself.